What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you and explaining how you can go to EB Games and purchase a brand new controller, whether it is PlayStation or Xbox, for $8. Let's get right into this. So for a lot of people, whether they play Xbox or PlayStation, they just don't seem to understand how EB Games and GameStop's warranties are for controllers. However, I have found a little loophole that I like to use whenever it comes to EB Games specifically because they just don't seem to test their controllers whenever they're brought back for warranty. They just accept them and give a new controller. All you have to pay is $8.00 for a new one year warranty on that new controller. So for me, I have a PlayStation 4 and the only time that I purchase a brand new controller is whenever it's close to Black Friday. Usually they're on sale for $50, which is a better deal than paying brand new, which is $80 full price. So I get them on sale Black Friday and I always remember to get a one year warranty with the controller. When it comes to the one year warranty, the only thing that is not covered is physical damage. So if you find yourself always rage quitting and smashing your controllers, just remember that it's not covered under warranty. There has to be nothing physically wrong with your controller. Everything has to be mechanical wise that you're claiming. Now for me, I have had a few legitimate claims for warranties for their controllers. One controller only lasted me eight months, one lasted me five months, and the current one only lasted me four months. Luckily, every time I always take it back, I always get a new one-year warranty on the new controller. So that means for the next year on that new controller, I have another one-year warranty and I'm covered in case anything were to go wrong. Unfortunately for me, the controller that I currently have that I have to take back to EB Games for a warranty reason is the one that I only had for four months. And the reason that I can't take it back right now is because of COVID-19. Just weeks after EB Games closed all of their stores because of COVID-19, my controller decided to crap out on me. I contacted their corporate through email and they said that I have to wait until EB Games stores opens. Recently, they did open up. However, they are all sold out of PlayStation controllers because, of course, the controllers are made in China. China is still on shutdown for a lot of cases, so we're not getting a lot of products for China at this time. Luckily, I have months and months left on my warranty, so it's not a huge rush. I do have a backup controller, but it is nice to know that whenever the stores do get more controllers in stock, I don't have to pay full price for it. I literally go back with my controller, with my warranty and receipts, and I get a new controller, and all I have to pay is $8.00. For a new one year warranty on that new controller. Now with EB Games and GameStop's warranties, one thing that I just want to mention is even if there's nothing wrong with your controller, you can take it back, get a new controller with a one year warranty and you only pay $8 and they cannot deny you. The reason for this is EB Games and GameStop's, most of them don't have TVs and consoles hooked up. So they can't test your controller to make sure you're telling the truth. They just authorize it, say yes, do the warranty, give you a new controller, and then if you don't want to pay $8 for your controller, they'll just give it to you for free, and you are not covered there on out. However, if you want to make sure that you have your ass covered on this new controller, all you have to pay out of pocket is $8 for a one-year warranty, and your new controller that you just got for warranty is covered for one more year. I have done it twice now where there's nothing wrong with my controller. My warranty was close to expiring. It was around the 9 and 10 months of warranty, which means I only have about two months left of my warranty. So I just took the controller back with my receipts and got a brand new controller. So I had a fresh controller and I only paid the $8 for it. So there was nothing wrong with those controllers that I took back those two times, but I did want to extend my warranty. So all I did was take the controller back, get a new controller and a new one year warranty for $8. This definitely helps people. For example, if you always seem to be every about six months going through a controller, you can always make sure you have a fresh one on hands. And every time you take it back, even if you do it twice a year, every six months, you only pay $8 for your new controller. Now, a lot of people always like to roast people that their controllers only last six months because some people have the original controller that has lasted them for years. However, a lot of people don't realize that the certain games that you play 
wear out your controller a lot more than others. For example, I play a lot of NHL, so I'm always using my analog sticks. They wear out a lot faster than most games, and NHL games are prone and known to wear out controllers a lot faster. Sometimes you might have purchased a controller and it was just part of a bad batch, meaning there was something already wrong with it before you purchased it and brought it home. And the other reason, it might be that maybe you are a heavy gamer, so you're wearing out your controller a lot faster, so it's only lasting you six months. Whereas an occasional gamer, they might be able to have their original controller where there's nothing wrong with it because they're not playing all the time. At least one of you understand the EB Games warranty a little bit more and understand that even if there's nothing wrong with your controller, if you have the warranty, you can take it back to them and get a new one for only $8. In my opinion, that is the way to go. That way, if you notice that there is something wrong with your controller and you have the warranty, you always are covered with their warranty. So I hope this has helped you guys understand the EB Games warranties for controllers a little bit more. And I hope this has helped you guys understand that you can go and get a fresh controller as long as it's within the warranty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Peace.